six months later, that's how long I've had the Peloton bike. A lot has changed since I purchased the Peloton Bike Plus. A couple of new features were added to the class experience and the weight cage holder changed from metal to plastic. And this is my second Peloton Bike Plus. Peloton swapped the original Bike Plus that I purchased with this new one because of power accuracy issues that I outlined in a previous video that I published about three or four months ago. So we will take a look to see if this new bike addressed those issues. But I promised I'll do a full review of this bike. So here we go. This is your Peloton Bike Plus hands-on review. And if you are new to this channel, welcome. Reviewing indoor bikes and bike trainers is what I mainly do here. The products that I mainly review on this channel are geared towards cyclists and triathletes. So if you are here thinking of getting the Peloton Bike to improve general fitness, then this review is for you. Or if you're a cyclist or a triathlete, this review is also for you. And uh, if you find this video helpful, take a second to hit the like button. It will help the channel a lot and uh, just an easy way to support what I do here. So in this review, I'll go over the Peloton bike price and different purchase options, what is new with the bike plus, the auto follow feature, and I will dig into the power accuracy of this bike. That's the output number that you see on the screen. And uh, also listen to the bike and see how loud the bike is. And if you just want to jump over a specific section in this video, I'll have all the chapters outlined down below. So the best way to start with this is the ordering process. Uh, Peloton offers different packages for the Bike Plus. They're calling it the Bike Plus Cardio Plus Strength. Then you also have an option for Bike Immersive Cardio. The listing under the Bike Immersive Cardio is for the old bike, not the Bike Plus, which is, I think is a little confusing. Under the Bike Plus, you have four different options that ranges from 2,495 US dollars all the way to 2,945. The basic option is what I got, and it's basically the bike itself and nothing else. The other options include cycling shoes, weights, bands, water bottles, etc. I personally do not care about any of these accessories, and you can probably get them much cheaper somewhere else, so I just went with the basic. As soon as you place your order on the Peloton website, and I'm based in the US here, uh, and your experience might vary based on your location you're given the option to select a delivery date and time. The whole delivery experience for both bikes that I received was very seamless and quick. The Peloton monthly subscription is 39 US dollars per month. 39 US dollars per month for unlimited access to Peloton content, which if you did not know that already, this includes cycling, live and on demand, running, yoga, strength, and way more than just cycling. The subscription will give you access to their workout library, you can use it without a membership, but you will no longer have access to the workout library and live classes. However, you will have access to the Just Ride feature that does not include the scenic rides and three pre-selected, pre-recorded classes. Though you're able to take these select classes, the metrics will not be recorded or saved to your rider profile. And the membership is per bike, not per rider. So if you have one bike at home, you can have as many family members use the bike and you can even create separate profile for each one. The Bike Plus is very similar to the previous bike model with few minor cosmetic changes and a different knob. But the main thing you will notice is the bigger touch screen. The new screen is 23.8 inches high definition touch screen and looks exactly like a giant iPad. It's about two inches bigger than the previous bike. The monitor rotates 180 degrees to the left and the same to the right for a 360 degree viewing range. And the screen also tilts up and down as well. Peloton has reworked the bike speakers there are two front-facing stereo speakers as well as two woofers in the back. Personally, I prefer to pair my Bluetooth headsets and just work out that way. You can adjust the volume up and down using the two bonds on the side of the screen or by using the touchscreen volume indicator. Uh, Peloton also lets you select between different audio mixes, either prioritizing the music, the instructor voice, or somewhere in the middle. The difference between each mix is very subtle and I always prioritize the music. The resistance is electromagnetic and you can adjust it using the resistance knob which is now digital and not mechanical. If you push down on the knob it will act as a brake and stop the flywheel. The bike comes with look delta pedals installed. I swapped mine with my own pedals that also happen to be a power meter. 
With respect to bike appearance, the design did not change much. The weight of the bike plus sits at 140 pounds versus 135 pounds. This is mostly due to the new larger screen. But as far as the footprint of the bike, that did not change. Peloton did a good job hiding all the wires. The only wire you will see is the one coming down from the handlebar and connected to the frame. The screen is connected via two wires that are well hidden behind the screen. There is also a USB-C port uh, open which you can use to charge other devices. Speaking of other devices, the bike does not have any place to place a phone or a tablet. Not sure why Peloton did not think of that given that we all have our phones with us all the time. Uh, but you can find a number of third-party phone mounts for the Peloton bike from Amazon or you can just use one of the bottle holders to hold your phone. Moving on to the software. Once you turn on the bike and log in, you will go through the setup and activation process. Then it will run the calibration for you. Everything else seems to be the same. Same selection of classes, live and on-demand classes. They also have free rides and scenic rides. The Peloton Bike Plus also supports Apple Watch Gym Kit. This allows you to pair your Apple Watch to the Peloton Bike Plus. Just hold your Apple Watch against the screen and you are good to go. Basically, this allows you to seamlessly stream your heart rate to the Peloton bike and sync data both ways. So you'll be able to see metrics on the Apple Watch screen like heart rate, speed, and calories. One of the best features of the Peloton bike is you can just hop on and start a class in less than a minute. This makes it so easy to get a good workout in in a very short amount of time, or if you have time, you can select one of the longer sessions. Under cycling, you can do live classes or on demand. They also added sessions, which I talked about in a separate video. You can also schedule classes or add a number of classes to your stacked list and do them sequentially. Autofollow is a new feature they added to the Bike Plus. Uh, when Autofollow is enabled, this allows the bike to automatically change resistance based on instructor's cue. Uh, so essentially it will automatically adjust the resistance without you ever touching the resistance knob and just allow you to concentrate on the class itself. Auto follow can be enabled by tapping on this lock icon to the left of the resistance range. Usually instructors call out resistance range and by default the resistance will sit somewhere in the middle of that range. You can change where you want the resistance to be, whether you want it to be at the higher end or lower end or somewhere in there. As you move from one interval to the next, auto follow will adjust resistance and will keep you at your preferred range location. If you take it outside of that range, let's say you took it outside of the higher end, once you move on to the next interval, it will bring you back to the higher end of that range. Another neat feature is the white circle around the auto follow icon. This shows how far you are in the interval before the resistance change. Not all classes have auto follow enabled. Uh, live classes, any zone specific classes do not have auto follow enabled. The Peloton bike measures your power output and display that number for you on the screen. You will notice this number is constantly changing and that's normal. That's because that's how power meters work. It measures the torque applied and calculates your power in watts and you see that number displayed on the screen. Peloton offer a number of power zone specific classes. You will notice in these classes the instructor will refer to working at a specific zone. These zones are established by your FTP or functional threshold power. For any of these numbers to have any benefit, it is important for the bike to measure power accurately and in a consistent way. I tested the Peloton power measurement by recording the Peloton ride data and also recording the power data from my power meter. In my previous video about the Peloton bike plus power accuracy, I outlined three different issues. The bike was measuring power much lower than my power meter it was not consistent in measurement, meaning sometimes it was off by 2% and sometimes it was off by 16%. And I also noticed power measurement can suddenly drop midway through intervals even though my resistance and cadence did not change. That's why Peloton decided to replace my bike with a new one. Shout out to the Peloton support. So is the second bike any better? I can say issue two and three were resolved However, the bike plus is still off, but this time it is measuring power higher than my power meter and it is higher by three to 7%. Power measurement seems to be good at the beginning of rides, but then it starts to drift and can drift by up to 7%. This behavior was consistent from ride to ride. Peloton does not recommend calibrating the bike often, but I did calibrate it under different conditions just to see if that changes the measurement and it did not. 
Peloton does admit that there is approximately a 10% variance between bikes, so there is that. As for the noise, the Peloton Bike Plus is extremely quiet. Actually, it is the quietest bike I have reviewed on this channel. You will not hear a thing and there is no vibration either. So if you live on a second floor or in an apartment, I doubt you will wake anyone up. Okay, there is a good reason the Peloton is so popular. Their classes can be fun and engaging, a super quiet bike and very easy to get on, pick a class and get a good workout in 20 to 30 minutes range. They have a variety of instructors and classes for almost everyone. For the cyclists, triathletes out there, here's what I can tell you. I like how easy it is to get on and get a workout in such a short amount of time. There are good instructors that come from a cycling background and they will guide you through a workout that is similar to a workout a cycling coach might prescribe for you or something that you would find on Trainer Road or the Sufferfest. But still, it does not feel like riding a bike. It's not as adjustable as other bikes out there. It feels more like riding a spin bike. Plus the inertia or ride feel does not feel as good as high end direct drive trainers or smart bikes like the kicker bike or the tax neo bike. Personally, it's not for me. I won't use it to prepare for any race, but I might use it if I am short on time and want to get a good 20 to 30 minutes workout quickly. I also don't like how you are limited to the music the instructors play and there is no graph to guide you through the workout. You can always turn closed captioning on and listen to your own music, but it's not the same and you can easily miss an interval. Uh, the auto follow is great, but I would also like to see Peloton added to the zone specific workouts and live classes as well. Also, Peloton need to get that power accuracy right. There is absolutely no reason not to get that right. If you are wondering why your neighbor is beating you on the leaderboard, it's mainly because of this. The Peloton bike is around 2,500 US dollars, plus you are committed to that $39 per month membership. That is a massive investment into your fitness. For some people, that $39 is worth it alone for the convenience, but if you're not planning on getting that membership, then I will not spend that money on the bike. Okay, there you have it. That was your Peloton Bike Plus review. Remember to hit the like button and also subscribe if you've made it this far in this video and you haven't subscribed yet. Really, just a simple thumbs up can help this channel a lot and I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.